So today I'm going to show you how you can eliminate or soften the rattle that you get whenever you're driving down the road and you're playing your music kind of loud and uh, the bass starts kicking in, mainly the mid and low bass, and uh, then your door panel actually starts to rattle. So this happens because there's no cushioning between uh, the speaker and uh, it's on the metal here and then that's causing vibrations to shoot up through the metal here. And then that uh, vibrating metal is then hitting this cheap plastic cover that I have on my door. So uh, the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to open up your door, as in uh, remove the panel from it. And then you're going to unscrew your speaker. Next, you're gonna find a, you're gonna want to find some foam. So I actually found this in my neighbor's trash. This is just like uh, some soft foam. Mainly, you want to use closed cell foam that can't get wet or hold water. Um, but what I have here is a knife and then I have a saw and so what I do is to get the center out of the foam you actually need to use the knife to first dig into the foam like that and then uh, you use the saw to actually cut it out so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut out a rectangle of foam which I've done here and then I'm going to take this foam and my permanent marker and I'm going to go over to my speaker and basically you're just going to trace around the speaker the face of the speaker onto the foam so I'm going to go and get the speaker out and then I'll show you what I'm going to do alright so I currently have the speaker out of the door and I've placed it onto the foam so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it on one of my knees and I'm going to I'm going to have the door panel falling on me sorry about that I'm going to take my permanent marker and I'm going to just trace around the speaker. So I'm going to center it up a little bit. Now I'm just going to go around the edges. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just a rough little sketch around. Almost done. And we're back at home base. Alright. So now I can remove the speaker. And uh, these have little magnets on them, so I'm just going to reattach it to the door here, oh, right there. And that should be fine there. So now I'm going to walk back over to where I have my saw at. I tried a jigsaw, jigsaw didn't really work, so I found that hand tools are fine. So now what I'm going to do is, this is just the edge of the speaker, um, so we don't have anything included in the middle yet. So what we actually want to do is kind of just guesstimate um, a little oval in the center here so this will be like where your actual woofer is so about like that that should be fine so now it looks like we have a speaker just made out of foam and so what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna go ahead and get started by um, just jamming my knife down in there and uh, let me go ahead and just get this started and then I'll come back and show you guys what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do Alright, so I got the knife in and I was able to make a big enough hole so that my saw fits. And now I can basically just prop this up and then uh, just saw downwards and saw around the circle. And uh, I'll come back whenever I have the circle cut out. It'll look just like that whenever I'm done. Alright, so I just finished up my cut. So now I can just pull this circle out of here. And you'll see that I'm now left with this. Uh, it looks a little bit rough, but um, that's alright. You don't need it to look pretty because it'll be covered up by the door panel. So what I like to do next is I actually like to... Uh, trim the corners down a little bit um, just round them off so they don't take up as much space because sometimes that might cause issues with fitment so I want to go and do that real quick and then we'll go back to the car and start putting this in all right so I'm back at the car now this is uh this is where the fun part comes in so what you like to, or what I like to do is um, I take my speaker and uh, it's gonna be a little bit hard to do one-handed but I jam it into the hole um, let me go and just do this real quick and then I'll show you what I've done. So I have set the speaker down so it's resting on top of the foam and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in the door so I've got the wires behind it going through the foam and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jam it back into the door with the foam around the edge of it so I'll do that real quick. Alright so this is what it's going to look like so now what you want to do is you're going to take one of your screws which my screws are right there I'm going to take one of my screws and I'm going to put it through one of the screw holes. So right there, I'm going to put it through the screw hole and I'm going to just peek around the other side here so that I can see where it's going to match up. And I'm just going to jam that screw in and start screwing it with the screwdriver 
until it meets with the hole on the other side. And then uh, you just do that with all four screws and then this thing's gonna be pretty secure in there. And uh, I'll come back whenever I'm done doing that. All right, so I've actually got one more screw to do, but um, you can see I have three of the screws in right now. So I got my top one, one of my bottom ones, and then that top one. So uh, basically, um, I still have to do the bottom left one right there, but uh, whenever you're tightening these, you just wanna make sure that once you tighten one, you know, it might feel pretty tight, but then another one might become loose again because of the foam and the way that it's working. So just keep going in like a circular pattern around all your screws and just keep retightening them and then until they're all finely tight. So um, I'm gonna go and finish this one up and then we'll do a little sound test to make sure it worked. All right, so I just finished this speaker. Um, everything's in there, as you can tell. Um, it's not super pretty, but there will be a door panel right here that we're going to put back on it right now. Um, and then once we add that back on, then we'll go ahead and do a sound test to make sure that this worked.